Pipedrive CRM tutorial, how to use Pipedrive for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with the Pipedrive CRM. So let's get into it. Now, CRM refers to customer relationship management and this is one of the largest parts of any business nowadays. It's very essential for you to be able to visualize your sales pipelines, to be able to segment your leads, to be able to service your current customers and also find future potential customers. So. Pipedrive helps you solve all of these issues in a simple and effective manner. And all you have to do to get started is click on try for free on the top right over here and you can enter your work email and get a 14 day free trial or you can sign up with Google or LinkedIn as well. So I'm just going to continue on with Google. You can choose to sign up via email as well. And I'm just going to continue on with my email address. Now, after that, you will just have to enter some personal information. So I'm just going to do that and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Now, once you have provided your information, they will ask you what is your job title. So let's say that I am the CEO and what kind of experience that you have previously had, then you can enter what you want to do first. So if you want to set up teams, if you want to set goals, if you want to find new leads, if you want to close deals faster or manage relationships better. So I will just do that. And I will just enter all of this field information. Once you have entered all of this information, it is going to create the pipeline service for you. Now, the best part about using this platform is that you really have a smooth experience in terms of running your business and running your CRM. Isn't hogging up any of your actual workspace if you're working on a other uh, project management software. This is focusing on CRM. So. Uh, you can experience pipeline using sample data or customize it to make it your own. I'm going to use some sample data just to show you guys exactly how to set up your own data as well. So on the left side of your screen, you're going to find this navigation panel where you will be seeing your leads, your deals, your projects, and your campaigns. Then below that, you have mailing options, activities, contacts, and insights. Then you have product and store. Then in your more section, you have automation documents and some data. Then on the top right, you will find your personal account settings. Now to get started first off with any kind of business, you have to enter your project. Now I like to start with projects because it's simple, but you can go on ahead and click on try for free and try out their plan where they allow you to create your own projects over here. So in this way, you can do all of your project management over here as well. It simplifies your uh, user experience. I personally do like it, but if you don't want to, you can leave it and just use the CRM tools. Now it's going to be super in integrated if you're using the project management software over here as well, but you can also exclude that and automate and integrate other applications that are project management softwares. But in the top section, you have your lead. So you can click on add new lead over here and you can enter your contact data. So whatever data you have collected over uh, on your spreadsheet or XLS, whatever kind of customer data you have, you can add it over here. Or you can even try Lead Booster to go on ahead and boost your lead. So you can activate Lead Booster over here and uh, you can uh, add this integration onto your website or onto your blog to get more leads for your business. Now, next up, you also have things such as web visitors where you can link your website and see how many visitors and engagement you're getting. Then you also have messaging features. Now, below that, you have your deal section. So uh, in this, you can uh, click on deal. And you can add the contact person, the organization, title, and value. So let's say I have a business and I'm making a deal to supply 10,000 t-shirts to a company. For that, I will enter the contact person, the organization name, and all of the uh, expected items. So, so over here, I'm adding the number of items as, uh, you know, how many, uh, whatever the item name is. So let's say this uh, person is purchasing t-shirts so i will just add that as a new product and then i will enter the price that's ten dollars for a t-shirt and then i can enter the quantity that they are buying from me so let's say they're buying a thousand t-shirts so maybe joe is from a restaurant and they want restaurant uniforms and they're buying a thousand t-shirts from me and then i can choose the pipeline then you can also choose the visibility so if you want to exclude certain people in the company if you only want certain subgroups if you only want certain followers to be able to see this you can do that then you will enter the person's number and the email address and you can click on save over here 
and you can enter more fields as well but you can see now i have restaurant deal and qualified now after that you can also go on ahead and choose to move this in contact made once you make a contact then you can also click on schedule and activity then maybe if you want to do a call if you want to do a meeting task deadline or email so maybe they have a deadline to for you to provide maybe samples of your t-shirts then you can enter deadlines over here as well and manage those directly in your crm then you can move them to proposals made now if these fields do not work for you don't worry you can click on your pipeline on the top right and click on new pipeline and make new fields over here as well you can create a new board from scratch as well now moving on to our next section we have campaigns now in your campaigns you can click on get started for free and you get a free trial of campaigns they have a free trial of all their features if you want to integrate those or not in your crm but campaigns are a good feature to track especially if you're not doing email marketing in any other format so it's just easier to integrate it with your uh, crm as well now after that you can click on automated campaigns over here and email template so you can use a template to get started with and you can use a blank or use a layout and then using that layout you can send promotional emails you can send welcome emails seasonal emails newsletters all that good stuff to your pre-existing and new customers now after that you have activities now in this activities section you can manage your entire business so uh for your entire meetings your entire you know office all of your uh, employees can add all of their activities over here which will enable you to see how further along you are in a specific deal where you can also denote the deal and the contact person then you have your contact so over here you can enter all of your contacts and the contact timeline as well so you can manage okay you've worked a couple of times with this business maybe you want to contact them again maybe they are you know a driving force in your business then you have insights and products where you can enter all your products that you're selling and manage the viewership that you're getting with each individual product as well now if we take a look at the pricing the essential version of pipe drive starts at nine dollars and 90 cents where you have basic customer support simple data import and easy lead deal and calendar pipelines then the advanced version starts at 1990 where you have full email sync with templates and scheduling then the professional version which is recommended where you can create manage and signed e-sign documents and contracts as well as get forecasts on your project and then they have the enterprise version where they have unlimited user permission and additional highlighted security so that starts at 59.90 so i do think they are probably rather reasonably it's not free but it is still a very powerful software that can enable you to expand your business to quite a height and i do think that it is worth it so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video